Hello, Joe here with Expert App Reviews, um, with our review of the day. The app that we're going to review today is the Starwalk application. It is $4.99 in the App Store. It is available for both iPad and iPhone. Today we're going to be reviewing the iPad version. When you first open the application, this menu comes up and uh, it shows you different things it shows you the date current date different planets that are visible during that night uh, what time they rise, what time they set, the elevation at which you can view them at as well as the moon cycles what time the moon rises, sets, elevation uh, same with the sun here, what time it rises, sets, the length of the day etc. You can also flip through the days and uh, it tells you what's going on. And that's just when you open it up. So already you have a lot of information at your fingertips once you open up the application. If we get out of that we are greeted with a beautiful sky view. You can just pan around with this, look up, look uh, look down, look at where uh, where the sun is, you know, look around, oh look there's some constellations and uh, a couple different things I'm going to uh, show you a couple different features of what this app can do first thing is if you click on something if you click on a star rather it shows you what star it is if you double tap you can zoom into the star and uh, look at it learn more about it if you press a little I up in the top left here gives you information uh, really get great uh, information on the star uh, another cool thing that you can do is uh, search for different stars and planets and things there's a, a toolbar down here that gives you all the different things that you can look at you have constellations solar system deep space stars and also satellites which is pretty cool you can view all the satellites that are orbiting around the earth um, you uh... another great feature that that i found for this application is the uh... time machine feature it's this little clock up in the top right hand corner what you do is you click it and it comes up with this uh... year month day and time uh... currently and what you do is, let's say, you want to change the date to your birthday. Click the year. Scroll, uh, there's a scroller here. Scroll it down to, let's say, you were born in 1990. You were born in June of 1990, June 6th to be exact. You can look around at what the sky looked like on your birthday. And really, uh, any, any day you would like. Um... And then you click this now button here, and it takes you back to today. Um, and then you you uh, click that again to get rid of it. Um, another uh, in the bottom right, you have the menu for the application, and it comes up with different things that you can do. There's the calendar, which gives you a pretty neat calendar of all the different events, astronomical events that are going on. Um, you know, there's, which is really great to know because if you're, if you're an astronomy geek like I am, for example, you you want to know when uh, when a meteor shower is, you know, full moon, solar eclipse, really anything you want. Also, this uh, sky live is really cool. That's what comes up when you open the application. Um, open that menu up again you have the pictures of the day this is uh... one of my personal favorite parts uh... what it is is it has a there's a picture of the day you can scroll through these pictures every day there's a new one uh... there's actually a badge that comes up a notification push notification that comes up and tells you when there's a new picture available and if you expand it and it fills up the entire ipad display it's really a a gorgeous display of of pictures you know you can scroll through 
shows you different pictures get out of that and also underneath it there's uh, some information about what's what you're viewing so you have uh, a couple paragraphs about what this is you can also share it Facebook Twitter uh, email you can download the picture to your photo library open it up in Safari and also another cool thing is you can print it out using using AirPrint which is a cool feature as well get out of that now go back to that special menu we were talking about um, look up bookmarks over here which books bookmarks what you're viewing right now so if you're looking at the sky right now and you see something especially beautiful you click the bookmark page takes a snapshot of what you're looking at and it tells you there's the time the day and the date of what you were looking at um, back to the menu we have home location what it does is it brings up this map of the earth and tells you where you are which is pretty cool you can spin the earth around you can zoom in gives you the coordinates of exactly where you are so let's say I'm talking about my house here in Atlantic City this is where I am it's uh, pretty pretty amazing X out of that brings us back to the sky um, you have various settings that you can look at you know you turn the music off different sounds uh, things like that uh, help center I guess if you have any questions and um, this other um, feature of this is absolutely astounding what you do is you take the iPad and you point it up. Oops. Just, uh. Whoop. Oh, wow, that was not good. What you do is you point, you take the iPad and you point it up towards the sky, and it gives you a live view of what you're looking at in the sky, which is something that I'll give you an example of right now. Uh, we are back. Um, here with the Starwalk app. Uh, the feature that I was telling about talking about uh, before is this feature where you point the iPad up towards the sky and it gives you a live view as you turn of the sky so it's daytime right now as you can see but when it's nighttime and you hold the app up towards the sky and you you know spin around like so I didn't have my thumb on the app I could show you. It really is quite astounding. Um, so, again, this is Joe here with Expert App Review. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll also have a link for this app in the description. Thanks a lot.